Good morning. This is Good News Friday. We deserve good news. I definitely deserve good news. You know, I've been doing videos for almost seven years. It's amazing. And I've been right so many times. Usually I'm right. Yeah. Well, I'm not bragging about it. That's just how it is. Yeah. About the climate change, for instance. Climate hoax. Oh, I was so right about this. Yeah. Like so many others. Yeah. This first story is from Australia. And it's on BBC. Yeah. <laughs> it's very respected source. BBC, yeah. Well, they wouldn't admit this. No, they, I don't think they like to write about this, no. Anyway, so the, it's about the corals in Australia. The coral, the Great Barrier Reef, you know. You know, they said it's uh, dying, yeah, because of climate change. Mm. Now, they say this coral has recovered to record levels across much of the Great Barrier Reef. The reef's northern and central parts have the highest amount of coral cover since monitoring began 36 years ago. Yeah. Now, they can't be all positive about it. In the, on the BBC they say, oh, this new coral is very vulnerable. <laughs> yeah. But it's bigger than ever. Yeah. Yeah. So whatever you said about the coral, the, the, the reef, you, it was misinformation. Yeah, it was. It was fake news. So I'm now fact-checking you. You were wrong. You were lying or something. Yeah. Right, the next story is from Sweden. Uh, you know, this girl, nine-year-old girl, that was raped. Very tragic story. She was raped and almost killed in the town of Khaleftio. Uh, the suspect is from Ethiopia and they said that he was 13. And then the prosecutors, prosecutors said, no, we have doubts about this. We, are, we need to check it out. Yeah, that's what they did. And they found out that he's older. He's at least 15, which means he can, he can be sentenced. Yeah. This asshole, this total I don't know what to say about this guy. Anyway, and the parents, they admit it. You know, when they came to Sweden to register, they wrote the wrong date, the, the wrong birth date on the guy. Yeah. By accident. Yeah. Right. So now he can be sentenced. Now I suspect that they want to protect him also, yeah. This is part of it. If they can sentence him, maybe people will calm down. There's a lot of people who are upset about this guy. They want to get to him in this town, you see. And maybe they think, no, now they will maybe relax if we can sentence him. You know, the sentence will be pathetic. Yeah. I, I hope somebody will get to this guy. Yeah. Right, this is from Denmark. Bad news for Bill Gates and his friends. Denmark, they are stopping the tea for kids under the age of 18. Yeah. I'm sure the Bill Gates, he doesn't like this. I'm sure of it. No, Bill Gates is like this high priest guy, you know. Yeah. Like in the Inca time, yeah child sacrifice and stuff. He's into this stuff. Yeah, this is what I believe. So he doesn't like this. So why do they stop it in Denmark, you think? I thought it was safe. Yeah, totally safe even. The tea, yeah, totally safe and, and effective. Yeah, oh, they are stopping it. Well, well done. Denmark. Right, finally this story. This is from the United States. It's a guy, very rich Democrat guy, Steve Kirsch. 
Uh, I'll post a link to the interview. It's a very good interview with this guy. So he's a Democrat, very rich guy, and he's been donating millions to the Democrat Party. And then he noticed something with his friends who had the tea. No, some were dying and some got injured and he started to look into it and he found some stuff yeah. and then he wanted to talk about this to his Democrat politician friends, I suppose. I suppose you become friends with them when you give them a lot of money, right? Yeah. And they wouldn't talk to him. They ignored him. He wanted to talk about this thing. See, people are dying, people are getting injured, he had all these facts and statistics. Nobody would listen to him in the Democrat Party. So he got pissed off. I mean, really pissed off. Yeah, just listen to him. And then he went public with it. It's great. All right, I wish you a great weekend. Be good.